Hi everyone. So I haven't gone on camera for a while and I'm really not, uh, maybe because I wasn't like feeling up to it these last couple of months. I had let myself go a bit because I fell and hurt my knee and then I also like fell down the steps and hurt my other leg. So it's been um, quite a journey right now to be coming back to myself and every time I feel a little twinge in my knee I get a little nervous. So uh, that being said, the summer is around the corner and I gotta say I am not too happy with where I am weight wise. I already did a cleanse to sort of get myself jump started but I also watched a documentary the other day called Fed Up and it's narrated by Katie Couric who's also a producer of it and Lori David who is the executive producer and she also um, was a part of Inconvenient Truth and has written um, a book Call about family dinners and she actually has her second book related to that coming out family cooks um, coming out as well this month and I have to say as a lifelong dieter um, I've always been about Diet Coke and Splenda and processed foods that are supposedly good for you or not necessarily good for you but lower in calories but very high in sodium and over the past couple of years I stopped having my Weight Watcher frozen dinners. I tried my best to start weaning myself off of Diet Coke, which I actually have successfully done now for the last month or so. Um, but what was the most eye-opening about this documentary is how the obesity epidemic has just reached like crazy proportions um, among children who at this point stage of the game are not may not outlive my generation which is just so sad because um, they right from the start are having too much sugar or eating processed foods and developing diabetes and all kinds of other heart problems and um, and now they just don't even know what they can be doing to lose weight. They exercise and it just doesn't seem to be coming off. But it's because they're being sabotaged at home and at school when the, where the meals are just so heavy in calories and not good for them. And I feel fortunate living in the New York area and knowing that my kids eat you know, more nutritious than others. We, they certainly do not live off of chicken nuggets and, and they really are... Um, they like kale chips and all kinds of other vegetables that I cook for them, but I still fall victim to the processed food craze. And after hearing about what you're supposed to have for in terms of sugar each day, um, it's kind of scary because I think I pretty much have my allotment every morning when I have my morning cereal. And the big thing that I, I've realized with watching this documentary is that it opened my eyes to all the wrong things that I've been doing. I know every time I have that processed food, it's bad, but when I was trying to take it out of my diet, I replaced it with the real stuff, and sugar is not good either. So I'm doing my best to detox slowly. Um, I will not give up sugar, cold turkey, or, you know, I haven't had Splenda. I'm having some of the other stuff that's still not that good for you. But I really want to make a commitment to being healthier because I, I don't like, I hate it when my legs bother me. I hate when my feet hurt, when my knee hurts, when my um, my legs are swollen when they shouldn't be. It's just strange for me because I've always been athletic and love um, playing tennis and bike riding and doing all kinds of things outdoors. I used to rollerblade to work when I was in my 20s. And here I am in my 40s and I feel like things are starting to fall apart and that might have a lot to do with the bad stuff I've been putting in my system for all these years. So um, while I'm sure you've seen me a lot of times say that I'm going, this is, this is the last time I'm going to lose weight, I'm not going to make that promise. Um, what I am going to promise is that I'm really making an effort to looking at the labels, seeing how much sugar is in um, everything that I'm eating and, and really trying my best to to slow it down and, and to have less of it. And hopefully that'll make a difference. I mean, even the Diet Coke, I feel I'm not as bloated from not having it. So it, it takes a little bit of a change every single day. And here's hoping that 
I can finally lose weight the natural way, eating real food um, and feeling good along the way. And, and hopefully I'll get my, um, my body back, but I will keep you posted. I'm not showing you a full uh, picture of myself right now, but I will definitely keep you posted along the way of my progress. And um, I want to recommend when Fed Up comes out in theaters, you run to see it. You take your kids. And also, you should look into even potentially having a screening once it's available um, to schools, to PTAs. It's one of those films that's going to, I'm sure, um, not only open your eyes, but change the way your family um, thinks about food. And, and, and I personally think it's going to encourage a lot of people to turn their lives around uh, to ditch those chicken nuggets and all those things that are just too easy to make and terrible for you. And let's go back to eating the right way and enjoying our food together. And um, maybe that'll mean that we'll all lead much more healthier lives.